Before I make my first coding video in the new year, I would like to grant this request, which is someone requesting of a video of how I make content. Firstly, I want to say that my workflow for creating content has changed in different ways. Some of the workflows I'll be showing you today, I probably wasn't using them six months ago. I'm just going to share how I currently approach making my coding videos. Let's start from the ideation stage. I get topic ideas in different ways. It could be a topic somebody specifically asked me to make a video on. It could be something I learned during the week. I get these ideas in different ways and I manage all these ideas on Notion. I do this for my other YouTube channel, Dillion Megida, also other kind of videos that I create. Sometimes I may make a video on that idea the same day. Sometimes it's a couple of days later. Sometimes it's even months later like there are some topics in my notion that i haven't yet made a video on but when i am ready to make a video on that topic i make sure to add like a summary or the different points i want to cover on that video for example if you look at the css clamp i have here this is the few notes i have here some of these things might not make sense to you but they make sense to me so i put those points which i would like to touch on in the video and sometimes i have short summaries like this but if we go to intersection of Observer API. You can see that the point here is longer. But if we go to this fundamental concept to learn before React, you can see that I even have a longer list or longer points that I want to cover. Even for this current video, you can see the Notion page for this here. I also said, let this person know. So I put this note here so that when I publish this video, I can reply to the person who said I should make this video. And then I have the points of the different things that I want to cover. Also, depending on the kind of video that I'm making, I may want to practice before I start recording the video. Maybe it's a demo where I want to show you how to do something in CSS or a small project that I want to build. I'd first build that project locally or on CodePen to see if it works. And when I'm sure that it works, I would then record a video of me doing it but this also depends on the project there are some projects that i don't even practice beforehand and i head straight into the video and i build the project in the video if the project is complex i may want to try it out first but if it's not complex i just do it right on in the video so i have my demo ready i have my notes in my notion and i'm ready to make my video the first thing i do is to turn on my light here well this is already on but let me turn it off i can control this from the home app because all these lights are connected to my home app so you can see here i have activate decode which is currently on but if i should do deactivate youtube you can see all of that there is off i also have my key light here this is off so this is how i basically start and then i'm ready to make my video i turn this on and then i come here to activate decode when i activate decode i have that that's just to make the background appealing it's appealing right then i open the notion page i have for that specific video i put it on my other monitor so over here i have a vertical monitor and i put the notion page there and this is very helpful because while i'm making my videos from time to time i can check what i should say next and when you're watching my videos on youtube you most likely would never see me turning here and that's because i usually cut out that part during the editing stage but once that is set up i have my web page open and i have a, my code editor also open depending on the kind of video i'm making sometimes all i need is a web page i don't need my code editor and sometimes i need only my code editor i don't need my web page so it usually depends but most often you would see a code editor and a web page and once that is ready i'm ready to record now you usually record three things at once. I record video from my camera, which you're currently seeing. I record audio from my microphone and I record my screen. For my screen, I use QuickTime Player, which is an application that comes with my Mac. And one of the things I love about QuickTime Player is that I can crop the portion of the screen I want to record. So if I'm making a video for YouTube, I'll be recording landscape. But if I'm recording something for TikTok or Twitter or Instagram, then I would crop the screen to the specific portion that fits a portrait view and then i also use quicktime player to record my audio when i'm ready i hit record on camera on quicktime player and on my microphone one question you probably have is do i hit record at the same time for these three things well i don't hit it at the same time sometimes i hit this one two seconds earlier two seconds earlier maybe three seconds later it doesn't really matter because during editing i can sync all of them together
So I'm recording, I'm saying all the nice stuff I need to say. I am looking at my notion from time to time for what I should say next. Oh, CSS is this and CSS, I'm not sure. Ah, okay. CSS is X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I'm done recording. I stop recording the screen, stop recording my camera, stop recording my microphone. Then I create a folder on my drive, which would usually be named the title of the video. And I can store the audio, the screen recording there and the video from my camera. Sometimes I did my videos the same day, sometimes days later. It depends on my energy or the time that I have left but when i'm ready to edit i bring everything into final cut pro which is my editing software now on final cut pro i set the scene for my editing by starting with syncing myself and my microphone which is my camera and my microphone i sync that together as one video and then i also sync my camera my microphone and the screen as another video so now i have two videos which i haven't edited yet i would usually go into this second one where i have my screen microphone and audio and when i go there i can make myself smaller on any edge of the screen recording and when that is ready i'm able to combine this video and this video together in something called a multicam i'm not going to dive deep into that because that's more of a video editing detail but in that multicam during editing i can easily switch between these different cameras so i can easily switch between just myself showing or myself and the screen recording showing just like you are currently seeing now you can see how i'm switching between between myself you see me for some time and then i go to the screen recording with myself i'm able to switch that and during the editing i add text screenshots sound effects if needed i add a bunch of things and yeah when i'm done editing i export and i publish i currently don't have any specific time where i publish if i finish editing by 9 a.m i'll publish by 9 a.m if i finish editing by 10 p.m i'll publish by 10 p.m and that's a brief walkthrough of how i make my videos of course there's a lot that happens in between sometimes before putting my notes on notion i make a lot of research on those topics to be sure that i have a very good understanding of that topic or for the most part this is the workflow that i currently use for making videos maybe you're also interested in making this kind of videos i hope that these things i've shared here also helps you time to go prepare for my first coding video of the year so subscribe if you haven't turn on notifications so you know when that video is published and have an amazing new year